What's going on everybody on YouTube? Steve again with Rake and Profit coming back to you with another video. And in today's video, I'm gonna share with you three techniques that you can use or three methods that you can use to ship blazers, sports coats, or suits on eBay. And these are just three methods I'm gonna share with you. There's actually a lot more that you can use depending on the size, the weight, and the location of the shipment. But again, I'm gonna share with you guys three methods that I ship my blazer sports coats and suits and three methods that you could try out for yourself so with that being said let's get into today's video first method for shipping out a blazer sport coat or a suit and this is probably one of the most popular methods that i use is the regional rate a or b boxes <clears throat> so as you can see there's two different sizes this is the regional rate a box and this is the regional rate box b two different sizes. Um, again, it's gonna depend on the location of the shipment. So if you're only shipping a few states over, a lot of times this is gonna be the cheapest, ch cheapest method for shipping uh, these types of items. If you're shipping maybe from the East Coast and you're going over to the West Coast, like to California, it's probably not gonna be in your best interest to ship using these boxes because they do ship based on the location. I mean, you could use regional rate A or B boxes to ship anywhere in the country, but again, it's the rates are going to be the best when it's somewhat close to your region. So, that's the first method for using uh, for shipping these types of items. Second way that I like to ship my blazer, sports coats, and suits, and again, this is a very popular option. This is probably best for if it's something really heavy or a little bigger, or maybe it's you're shipping it far away, and that is the priority mailbox. Um, medium flat rate box. Let me get in there for you. There you go. And all these um, methods that I'm going to teach you how to ship, you can get all these things free off of USPS.com. Just go to the United States Postal Service website and you can order them. Uh, depending on where you are, it might take a few weeks to get there. So definitely buy them in advance. But this is the medium flat rate box. This is going to cost, if you're shipping your items off of eBay and you're getting the discount, it's going to cost, I believe, like $10.65. If not, it might be around $12 or $13. But $10.65 pretty much any weight. I mean, it's going to fit all these items. And um, yeah, it's fast shipping with priority. So that's really awesome right there. So that's the second method that I use. Very popular option for shipping blazers, sports coats, and suits. And the third option for shipping these, and this is going to be a little harder. You're only going to be able to fit in like the smaller blazers and maybe the very light sport coats, maybe not even them. Definitely not the suits, but for the light blazers, the small ones that are like, you know, 38 regular, you can fit them in here. Um, this is the padded flat rate envelope. And again, this is free off of the uh, USPS website. But there are some risks that you have to take into consideration with shipping with these um, these envelopes. I mean, especially if you're shipping like a really nice blazer. I mean, there's not a ton of protection. I mean, yes, it is padded. But if you get this thing thrown around, because here's, um, here's an item that I have. Uh, this is actually just a sweatshirt, so I didn't mind shoving it in there. But if you have like a really nice blazer and it's getting thrown around, the buttons could get snapped off. You could crack like a leather button. So it is a little more riskier. It is only $5.35 to ship anywhere in the country with this. So it is cheap. If you're running thin on your margins, you might want to, you know, consider squeezing this in. But it's going to be hard for you to fold it up nicely. It's not going to be presented the nicest, and you're going to risk damaging it. So, I mean... It's a risk. It's something that you can do. Um, I guess I wouldn't advise it for, you know, the nicer items or I don't know. It's, it's just risky business. So that's up to you. But those are three options for shipping your blazers, sports coats, and suits. Again, I would focus on the regional A and B boxes for the closer locations. And then I'd focus on the medium flat rate for, you know, the farther away locations, the heavier stuff, and you need more room to fit it in. So those are three options. There are definitely more options for shipping these types of items, which I'll share in the future, but just want to get you guys headed in the right direction. If you're just getting started selling these types of items and uh, yeah, hope everyone has a great day. Keep on picking and making that money and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.